Hi guys, welcome back again to my YouTube channel. My name is Naninga Koe. Don't forget to subscribe before we get into this video. Yes. Uh, so basically today I'm going to tell you some little tips. Yes, specifically three tips. I'm going to give you three tips on how you can get rid of your acne or what you're doing wrong. All right. Uh, that is affecting your acne and your pimples. I know this topic is dear to my heart because I have had acne for the longest time. I'm sure nobody has had acne or pimples as long as I have. Yes, I may not have had acne, but I've had pimples for the longest, longest time. So I'm going to tell you specifically three tips that are free that you can do that can actually affect whether you're going to have pimples or not. I've actually done two videos already on acne. You can go check them out. But these are three things that I'm going to talk about that are affecting your acne. And the reason I've said free is because they are not going to have a cost implication when it comes to controlling your acne. So here are three free tips for you that are going to help you with your acne. I wanted to do a really short video today because, um, yes, let me just stop at that. I wanted to do a short video today because I have been filming almost the whole day. So uh, the three tips that I'm going to give you are the first one is actually to take water, plenty of water. Now, water is something that you are supposed to be consuming ever since you came on this earth or were conceived or whatever were born on this earth you're supposed to take water so basically it does not have a cost implication take plenty of water make sure that you're taking the recommended eight glasses of water a day because this is going to affect your acne acne water is a a body regulator it acts as a regulator in our bodies and therefore it's going to assist in controlling your acne or your pimples yes Make sure you're taking plenty of water. Don't just go ahead and waste money on cleansers and scrubs and masks when you're actually not taking plenty of water. Make sure you're taking plenty of water. Water is necessary for our survival and it has been proven by researchers to do more good than harm to our bodies. In fact, it does a lot of good. So make sure you're taking plenty of water before you rush into the drugstore or you rush into the chemist to buy your cleansers. Yes, take plenty of water give you that is absolutely free does not cost a penny does not cost a shilling i'm not going to tell you to go ahead and you know exfoliate your skin in the salon or whatever but i'm, I'm going to give you is actually something that is going to save you money also and it might control your acne all these things are not guaranteed to control your acne but make sure you check on them before you head on over to a dermatologist before you head on over to a chemist before you head on over to a salon for exfoliation and that is make sure that you're eating a balanced diet. Yes, we have sung so about we have sung about balanced diets for years and years and years. We've been told to eat balanced diets, and balanced diets does not involve eating a burger with a lettuce inside. Make sure you're getting plenty, plenty portion dose on eating natural vegetables and fruits. So make sure that you're eating plenty of natural vegetables and fruits. Yes. And that is going to help your body regulate itself. Your hormones are going to be regulated. Food also plays a vital role in hormone regulation. Yes. And if your hormones are regulated, that is also going to play a very vital role in, in reduction of pimples. And not only does food regulate hormones, food also clean, cleanses the system. So therefore, the type of food you're eating is also going to determine whether your system is being cleansed sufficiently and therefore going to reduce your acne so make sure that you are eating the right balance the thing that food. i'm going to tell you that uh -huh. is absolutely free 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 it's actually a habit that you're supposed to kick in case you're doing this habit this habit could actually be affecting whether you're getting acne or not and that is when you get one pimple or two pimples how do you handle those pimples how you handle the existing pimples is actually going to affect whether you're going to be able to control your pimples or not. So if you're taking a needle and sticking it into that pimple, definitely you're not going to regulate that pimple. So definitely avoid fasting pimples. 
avoid sticking needles into them avoid popping them just don't do it when i say avoid it means that sometimes you can bust it by mistake maybe by scratching your face or scratching the pimple then it busts but definitely do not go take it upon yourself to actually take a needle or squeeze it between your two fingers to pop it no whether it is ripe as people say it or whether it is raw don't pop that pimple at all because you're releasing the bacteria that is inside that pimple to spread to the rest of your skin so just don't pop that pimple and that does not involve any money whatsoever so those are the three habits guys that i would tell you com to completely 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 kick if you want to have a smooth face i have not yet achieved the level of smoothness that i want to achieve i'm still on a struggle but I hope that we are all going to get there soon. And I hope that you're going to beat this terrible journey of uh, acne and pimples. Yes. Yeah, so thank you so much, people, for watching. I hope that you will subscribe to my channel. Uh, it's the red button down below. And uh, don't forget to subscribe. I post content three times a week. And thank you for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.